I've always felt movie poster art, particularly from the 30s and 50s, is rather underappreciated. To see an artistically crafted movie poster is exciting, especially when you realize it's not only just about the art, but the history of the art form itself. Then how fitting was it that in 2008 an impressive lobby art collection was found by accident in a closet at the historic Ponkin Theater. Took them to the bank to put them in a safe place um, until we could kind of get an idea of what they were worth or you know what all we had here and then um, whenever they took them to the public then we had sponsors from around town that decided to sponsor each photo, each picture, and um, had them restored and framed, and then they were hung into the theater. And now, while visiting this historic theater, you can enjoy browsing through this movie poster collection, which reflects a different kind of history and art form. Well, they were some of the original lobby art that used to travel with, um, with the movies. Um, you know, some of them were on canvas. Um, back then, they were painted, some of them on both sides. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they would travel with the, with the movies as they moved around. The artist's work is as indelible as the films themselves, often inseparable, and in some instances the artist was local. There is a gentleman by the name of Earl Sturgis who was hired by um, Fred Pickler. He was the first executive director of the Ponkin Theater. And um, that is what uh, Earl did, was he actually, even in Dallas, Wichita, he went around and he did some of the art. And he came here and did all of, all of a lot of the art for the Ponkin Theater. Of course, the theater itself, opened in 1928, has always been an integral part of this community. This is an historic destination with beautiful architecture inside and out. Will Rogers is one of the first to perform here, and now its history and function in the community continue. We have live theater. Um, we also have a children's program, Evans Children's Academy, that kids can come in and there's, have dra there's drama, use, you know, which um, we have concerts, um, movies, I like to show old movies and mov new movies. In the summer, we have a kids program, a children's program. It's free movies during the summer for the kids. And there are community concerts performed too. But to tour the rare and elaborate hand-painted lobby art or movie poster art is fascinating, especially given where the collection was found. The posters are also a part of the history, which just brought to life even another aspect of theater and how it used to be. And, um, and those are on display here, along with, um, and they're original, so along with many other aspects of the building that are original, still in its original place. So they are on display here, and so when you come to see the theater, you can also see all of the, the, lo the lobby art.